What's up guys and welcome back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And I wasn't really sure if last episode had warranted another episode of this game. And it's not because the episode didn't do particularly well, it's because YouTube has been kind of broken lately. I've gone to bed with videos having 400 views and woken up with them having 80 don't really understand how that works, but either way, I wanted to play more of this game because there were a lot of very enthusiastic comments last episode. There were a lot more Dragon Ball Z fans than I had anticipated, which is great. So a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I've been practicing. I know how to fight now. So let's see what Trunks has in store for us today. Assume something's going down. Uh, and by something, I mean Yamcha. He's always going down though. And Gohan and Krillin. So useless, every last one of them. Piccolo, he probably went down saving Gohan, because that always happens. Ooh, Cybermen. Cybermen? Cybermen? I don't know. They got they got the voiceover work dead on. It's perfect. So Goku's alive again. So he was just brought back with the Dragon Balls, I guess. And that must be Vegeta and Nappa as great apes. Cool. So we're at the very end of the Saiyan saga, I guess. revived as well. Yeah, he was just brought back. And I'm guessing in this case, you're going to lose. But in reality, you don't. And then I have to come in. Seems to be what's normally happening. Yeah, there you go. Seems to be the trend. Man, that purple aura. It's intimidating. Hey, so we gotta send Golan in. Right here, history is changing. I, I noticed, Trunks, thanks. I would really appreciate your help. Do you, do you really? <laughs> I'm very, like, feminine, silent protagonist. It reminds me a lot of Link from Zelda. Okay, so now I'm showing up ever so slightly before they all went down. Yamcha, you shouldn't be using that move, man. That's, that's not yours, let's be honest. Yeah, okay, so they haven't turned into apes yet, so I need to, I don't even know. That is so cool, though. Making my grand entrance. I, I have such an epic entrance. Like a WWE entrance. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, it's spelled Cybermen. I thought it was Cyber, like C-Y-B-E-R. Okay, I need to defeat 20 of these little Brussels sprout shits. That shouldn't be too difficult. Like I said, I have been practicing, so I have a pretty good idea what I'm doing now. I can, like, link combos together and stuff. Oh man, they are not strong at all. What about one of these? I learned the Kamehameha while we were away. We can do sick moves now. They do not put up much of a fight. I realize that my face is over my own health. I didn't want it over the enemies, but you can see some of my health bar. Below that, there's a key bar, and then below that is a stamina bar. So the way that the game works is I'll build up key gradually, and that's what you use to blast people with. So if I want to do something like this, and actually have it work. Something like this. Boom. Sit down. <laughs> then that takes key and stamina takes, um, like, for hits, but I can also teleport behind people like that. So there's a lot of really cool combos you can put off by managing both of those bars. It makes it fighting. It's actually a really interesting fighting system, you know? I thought it was going to be kind of gimmicky, but it's pretty deep. Okay, so you got more of them. Oh. They remind me of the aliens from uh, Attack on Mars, Attack from Mars, whatever that old movie was that was fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna quickly dispatch these idiots and then we're gonna move on. That's the end of the Cybermen. So many of them. There's the big boy himself. Vegeta. <laughs> okay, yes, we get to fight Nappa. Rival of the Saiyan Warriors, defeat all of them. I love your mustache. Okay, is this gonna be a legitimate fight? See, it's still not a real fight, because I'm still just sitting here fighting with freaking Piccolo. It's a 2v1. I want to actually 1v1 like they do in the stories, because I would just kick the crap out of his bald head. See, he's not even a challenge. I just keep comboing him into the ground. See if we can do something. Ooh. Okay. I want to see if I can get a cool combo off. Like, if I can hit him up and then try to get behind him. For one of these. See you later. <laughs> Where'd your armor go? That was quick. Oh, see you, Piccolo. <laughs> you know it's gonna- I even said that earlier, that always happens. Poor Piccolo, man. He, he would do a lot better if Gohan was just never around. So now, I can really fight Nappa on my own. There we go, that's what I wanted. Nope, I have Krillin and Gohan this time. Lame. And I knock you down. I should be able to teleport behind you. Yeah, and then I can do even more combos. 
That is so. That is like iconic Dragon Ball Z, and I hit him with a massive Kamehameha. Awesome. Is that? That is again. It just randomly stops in the middle of the fight. It doesn't actually let me kill him, but I guess that makes sense because you done fucked up now, Nappa. Goku's here. Krillin, just stay back. I'll take it from here. <laughs> just, just stop dying, Krillin. Just, okay. just go away. Come on. Let's go. Save us all some time. Dad? You can tell that this was probably an Asian game and then translated over because the voiceover work is like, Dad? Nappa is having trouble. Say it, Nappa. Wait. What? No way. They did not. I can't believe they didn't say that most like iconic pop culture line from Dragon Ball Z. You know what? Screw it. I'll do it myself. Jada, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Of course, they went and skipped it, which is just not okay. So you you have no use, Nappa. You know, if you're not going to say the line, you can just go away. And we'll just... Okay, we're just going to KO Vegeta real quick. Oh man, that is a sick combo we got going there. This is awesome. I'm loving this game. Even if it is very strange to be fighting in groups, because that never happened in Dragon Ball Z. It was pretty much the group would stand on the sidelines and we would all 1v1, because that was the honorable thing to do. Is he stuck? Oh, well, if he wasn't stuck, he's stuck now. Plastered up against the wall. All right, Vegeta. Kicked you right in the nuts. What are, you, what are you gonna do? Oh, that's right! This is like the first Blast standoff in the series. This is another super iconic moment. That is so awesome. Goosebumps. Bye, Vegeta. Oh, that's right. Of course he doesn't die, because Vegeta's still part of the story. Damn you! So what is happening next? Come back down. We need to kick his ass again, Dad. I'm right next to you. In that case, I guess I'll just have to become a great ape. Right, of course. We already saw the natural um, story earlier in a cutscene. Now he needs to become a great ape, and we need to somehow fight him as a great ape. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Destructo is to cut off his tail. And Krillin, we already told to go, like, away. Stop dying. No. So this should be an interesting fight. I wonder how his armor grows. Now you see. This is the end for you. So I guess I just need to kind of punch him in the dick. Like, is that going to... Here, let's try that. I'm just going to punch you in the dick. Punch, 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 punch. Right in the balls. Oh, I think it did something. Oh, I found his weak spot. It's the testicles. <laughs> Boom. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I can do this. He's flailing. There's Krillin. He didn't go away. He go never on. does. I'll go with you. Y yes. No, no, no. We need, we need the destructive. We don't need your help. We just need the destructive disc. Okay, let's just fight him as four now. Don't mind me, Vegeta. Just hacking away at your back. I'm like a gnat. Okay, has he gone down again? Right in the back. There we go. That's that's the ticket. Okay, Krillin, can you literally do the only thing you've ever provided to the series? There it is. <laughs> Krillin's time is now done. I'm gonna go back, Vegeta. That's right. So good. Oh, he's not done. Still, just cut off your tail, blasting you over and over again. You still want one more go? Okay, I'm fine with that. So it's me and Goku now. Oh crap. Yeah, you see, I can teleport behind him. He's actually... Oh, wow. Okay, so he's gonna actually put up a bit of a fight here. That's good. I was kind of getting bored. Ow. <laughs> so I should be able to string together some combos. And see, he does that thing where he throws his hands up in the air and he breaks whatever you're doing. I guess we need to hit him with something like that. He blocked it all. Well then. Oh, no, no, come on. Oh, God, he's so close. Uh-oh. That's a special attack by the looks of it. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Kamehameha, go! Die! Oh, my God, just die. Yes, got him. Goodbye, Vegeta. I love that they're just like... I love those spaceships. Probably one of the coolest spaceships in anime. 
So we have to let Vegeta go. You're not getting away. What are you going to do, Krillin? Shine his shoes? Yeah, because I really need to stop him. I really do Why remind me of Link from me? Zelda. I'm never saying anything. I'm just it's like... Okay. What? Next time, I'll... I'll meet him on my own. That lip sync, man. Spot on. No problem, Dad. Bye, Vegeta. It should be impossible. You can't change history like this. I don't know, man. I just got wished it here. I didn't even exist moments ago. Someone traveled through time and changed history. Just Am like I actually speaking? Past. Oh, it's question mark. Question mark. What the hell is going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This game has fully animated cutscenes? What? That is crazy. Who's this? She's a Kai of some sort. Hello! Uh, uh, hello! Hello! This is the master of the time nest. She's the supreme Kai of time, and a very important person. Did she just twerk? She manages the flow of time throughout the entire universe, keeping a she close does. eye on history and protecting it. I like her what owl the? more than her. What are you doing? Really? <laughs> Look at that awesome it's owl beard. Sounds like a pigeon. Are you using my head as a perch? <laughs> oh, I love his beard. He's my new favorite. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Trunks. What the hell am I watching right now? As I said, she's a very important person. Okay. Just trust me. <laughs> I have no reason not uh, to trust you. You did wish me here. Um, Supreme Kai of Time? Oh, uh, sorry. She's like two feet tall. Anyhow, you must be the warrior Shinron summoned. I'm the That's Supreme me. Kai of Time. Nice to meet you. You know, He's... she may not seem like it, but she's in quite a high position in the universe. <laughs> the irony of being in a high position when you're two feet By tall. By the way, that bird you saw just now? That's the one my I best like? friend, Toki Toki. To Toki Toki, okay. Best friend that steps on you, maybe. This is good. You guys seem quite talented. In other words, I think you two make a good team. Not really, we're just Saiyans <laughs> in you our blood. Much. But sadly, until we find the cause, this is far from over. We still don't know what's what going the, on with time. What in the world is happening? Seems there are two time travelers with strange energy, and they're messing with the flow of time. Oh, okay. They must be the ones in the opening to, scene I didn't recognize. What. I have a bad feeling about this. As you would, considering they're trying duo. to destroy time. Could that be? Let's start by finding them. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's start by finding the final enemy of this game. That's going to be it for this episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, guys. And hopefully you guys are still enthusiastic about the series. Like, I don't really want to make a full series out of it. But every now and then, I just have the inclination to play it. Like I said, I've still been practicing in my spare time. I've been playing the parallel quests that aren't part of the main story. And the more I play, the more I'm really enjoying the game. So if there are a lot of Dragon Ball fans out there, if people really do enjoy it, actually, maybe I'll do something similar to what I did with The Sims. Because last Sims episode, I said, if we get 250 likes on the episode, I'll make another Sims 4 episode that week. And... The community just went nuts. Like, absolutely surprised the crap out of me. So, if you guys really do enjoy this series, I think the last episode had about 100 likes. If we can get 100 likes on this video, I will make another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And that's not something that I want to get into the habit of doing. I don't want to seem like I'm asking for likes, like it's important. But it just helps me gauge whether there's interest in the community. Whether people would rather see me play more of this, or see me try something else. So let me know, and that way... Maybe we'll end up play facing more. I think the Frieza saga comes next. That one's going to be really cool. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah! Where did uh, Tommy and his new girl go? Oh, oh, uh, Kevin? Where are your clothes? <laughs> what? Kevin, don't, don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs. What are you doing?